So welcome back to the Custodian YouTube channel. Um, we're in for the last part of our hypervisor series. Um, hopefully you've seen the previous two videos. If not, maybe go back and check those ones out. Um, we noticed that Raf isn't with me today. He's got a bit of the sniffles, um, so he's having a day off, which leaves me um, with you, unfortunately. So our next bit is to actually log into VMware and get a VM set up just to prove that it works and I'm not just faking it. Um, so if I can remember the IP address, which I took a picture of last time, and I've done everything correctly, I will be able to connect to the hypervisor, which works, and then I just have to remember the password. Hey, there we go. Cool, so we are logged into the VMware ESXi control panel-y, web panel -y thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a virtual machine and check our networking. So if we head over to the networking side of the panel here, you can see we have VMware already created two networks, the management network and the VM network. Um, so the management network is what we're using at the moment to connect to it. So you tend to not want to play with that one, otherwise you'll disconnect yourself, which is not fun. And then VM network, which is just the default LAN that we have, virtual network there. Um, okay, cool. So I'm not gonna play with these just because we don't have to at the moment, um, but you may want to change them. So we come over to the virtual machines section and we create a virtual machine using that button there. We hit create new virtual machine, hit next, call it a name. In this case I'm actually going to just install Windows just because it's easy, um, no other reason really. I'm going to call this Windows Server 2019 because that's what it is. We select the OS family, you have choices between Linux, Mac, other and Windows, in this case Windows. Select the version of Windows. In this case, we are using server 2019. 2019 isn't listed, just probably because of the version of VMware we have. It's just not there as a supported thing yet. That's fine. So we can set 2016. It won't really care. At least for us, I mean, it's a lab, right? So the next bit then is we select the data store. If you've got more than one hard drive, more than one data store set up, then you can select other ones there. In this case, we only have one, which was all those hard drives at the front of the server. So we just hit next again. And then it will ask us, do we want to change any other settings? And I generally just have a quick look to make sure that I've got everything correctly set. For example, if you've got more network adapters, you may want to change that, but we just have the default at the moment. So we just hit next because that's fine. Or oh, actually, I just noticed Windows on 40 gigs worth of hard drive is not ideal. So we'll give it 100. And we might as well give it more cores while we're here, just because it makes my life easier. Next gives you an overview of what's going on and then you can just hit finish and it will create the virtual machine for you. Now in this point of the setup we can select the hypervisor here, we can hit power on and that will actually start the VM up. Um, you'll see in this little window you can it's got VMware now it's in like its BIOS stage and it will start to fill out some values here where it's starting to use resources. So we want to actually connect to its KVM section so we can see what it's doing. So if you hit console up the top there. You can open it in your browser or you can download the VMRC tool. I personally like the VMRC tool 
but in this case I'm just going to open it in a new browser window. Hopefully it will let me attach an ISO from here. Or not. Okay, so we have to install the VMRC tool. That's clearly why I prefer it. So you go back to console, download the VMRC tool. You'll need your VMware login. Okay, so I'm logged into VMware now. Uh, the Sorry, that little website-y thing to download this tool. And we want to select the Windows version. So we hit download and hope the fast, super fast internet does it in a few seconds. Cool. So we have the application, we install the application. Thankfully I'm an admin. Cool, so the next bit now is to um, open the VMware VRC console thing board. So you hit console here and you do launch remote console once you've installed that VMRC program, which you can download off the VMware website. It will ask you, do you want to open VMware Remote Console? So you hit yes, I want to open it. And then you wait. You hit connect anyway, because we don't have our certificates installed on the computer, so it asks you. And then you wait. Okay, cool. So the next bit is to hit this VMRC drop down here and go to the removable devices, hit CD DVD, hit connect to disk image file ISO. Find your installer ISO of whatever program it is, sorry program, what am I saying? The installer that it is that you're using, in this case I'm using Windows, so I've selected my Windows ISO. Once that's selected, you will actually see that it is connected on the screen there. That's where you disconnect it as well. So now, if you just hit the send control delete thing, it will reboot the VM for you. It will ask you to press any key to boot from CD, and then you see it loads of files. So what it's doing now is it's loading files off of my computer onto the server over the network cable. So it's just like having a computer in front of you, but over a wire. And now we wait. So you can see here that um, we can actually see the disk that I had attached to the hypervisor, 100 gig. So we can select that, hit next. And then Windows does its thing. And now we wait. Okay, so Windows has installed. So just to prove to you that it actually works, we're not just having you on. Um, we hit the control delete button up here. I try and put in my password that I can remember perfectly. And then it logs us in. Cool, and then now you can see we actually have Windows. Now from this, because this is your lab, what you want to do is you'll probably want to take this further, create more VMs, set up your own router or something like that. Because at the moment we don't have any internet. Um, so that's just a whole other story, you could say, as to set, setting your own lab up. Okay, so that wraps it up for this video, uh, in this series at least. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just drop them in the bottom of the video comments there. Um, we're not sure what we want to do next. Uh, if you want to continue on, you've got some more things you want to do with VMware or another type of hypervisor, then let us know and we might include that in another series that joins on to this. So obviously VMware is quite big, it's quite a big system and there are other expansion packs for it as well. Um, so yeah, uh, join us in the next video. Um, I'm not sure what that's going to be, it's going to be a surprise for me as well, just as much as it will be for you. So I hope you enjoyed this and give us a thumbs up.